Hey there, Monty and Stephen, how are you? I just want to send you this message to say, and maybe you've already seen it, because being who you are, connected network and everything, but for goodness sakes, you've got to see Tabloid by Errol Morris. The man is a master, as I'm, as I'm sure, of course, you would acknowledge. Uh, anybody who reads his investigations into the impossibility of knowing any, anything uh, regarding photographic evidence, at the very least, in the New York Times could tell you that. But you guys would love Tabloid if you haven't already seen it, especially when you, I, I think of... Um, uh, the themes, one of the themes of Road to Nowhere, you know, the impossibility of knowing anything. And what's so fascinating here, I'm not allowed to talk about tabloid uh, on the show because there's an embargo on it, but what's fascinating is the more recording devices we have, the more iPhones that we have, um, the less we know, right? So the more, the more uh, people we have photographing, then truth becomes even farther away. So we have the star, the, the, the focus of the documentary of Tabloid is this woman who happened to be outside after the screening, and everyone is recording with their iPhones, and you feel the truth is getting farther and farther away. And, you, of course, you, you think of the moon landings. People think we didn't land on the moon. I've known people that really believe that. You think about September 11th, people saying it's fake, even though there's, based for all intents and purposes, an infinite amount of information that's, uh, that's out there. And, of course, you, you think of Rodney King, the beating, and how that footage was slowed down so that each part could be par parsed out and he wasn't really beaten, etc. So, but now we all have cameras. I mean, everybody, at least here in the West, right, uh, has... Uh, their own uh, high-def video camera, for, for all intents and purposes. Uh, astonishing. So anyway, see Tabloid, and I urge you, for the love of God, before you see Tabloid, ignore Tabloid, because you've go, got to go into a cold, don't know anything, just, just please, 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 uh, find out as little, don't find anything out about it if you can. I know that's difficult for you, especially, I'm sure, uh, Stephen, you probably, you know, don't even need to see it, right, because of all the publicity materials that have already seeped into your your brain. But uh, it's a fantastic picture, and it, it reminded me of Road to, to, to Nowhere, uh, um, you know, the whole time. All right, guys, take care, everybody. Oh, and by the way, Monty, about the iPhone, it turns out the iPhone uses a micro SIM, which is different than the full-size SIMs they use in Europe, and apparently... I was told by an expert that you'd have to actually physically cut into the SIM to get it to work. So I, I don't know. I, I, I've gone as far as I can go on that one. It's, basically, it's not going to work properly. Um, so I would suggest if you really want it to work, maybe you have to turn to someone that's more experienced than I am in terms of manually cutting into the SIM and doing, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Okay. Sorry I can't help you. Uh, anyway, have a good night, guys.